It always hurts when your long-held fan theory falls apart. For example, I have for the longest time held the belief that the Empire in Star Wars, those near and far wars, don't personally call the Death Star the Death Star. Alas, I am, and always have been, wrong. To spin back for a moment, Star Wars follows the story of a backwater womp rat killing farm boy and future cult leader, who through meeting a sketchy old dude in a hovel, some sketchier dudes in a bar, and the promise of meeting a girl, becomes so radicalised he ends up murdering the best part of two million civil servants by destroying a taxpayer funded government installation. Said government installation is called the Death Star, but is it? I mean, it would make sense for the rebels to call it that, which they do left and right but that could be propaganda on their part. After all, they're about to kill the best part of two million people. If anyone calls shenanigans afterwards, they can always say, yeah, we killed a lot of people on something called the Death Star. It makes no sense for the Empire to call it that. I mean, yeah, they're dicks, but they have to project a certain veneer of we're here for your betterment. So calling their new toy the Death Star from a public relations and marketing perspective would be a nightmare for them. And in fact, they don't. They refer to it constantly as a space station, battle station, and at worst, a technological terror. But that was in a meeting. And yes, some of their naming conventions are a bit sus. For example, their ships are called Star Destroyers, but it's not like they destroy stars, no more than their Super Star Destroyers destroy superstars. Instead, it's like where we have ships and destroyers. They have starships and star destroyers. It makes sense. But Death Star? Death Star? No, surely nay. So, in Rogue One, when Mads Mikkelsen says they called it the Death Star, no they fucking didn't, I screamed emphatically at the screen, and for a moment there was a flicker of recognition in Mads' face like he had somehow heard me. We shared a moment, a bond, a kinship if you will. But then I was forcibly removed from the theatre by two ushers and a security guard called Keith, with whom I shared a moment, a bond, a kinship if you will. I never saw the rest of that movie, but I've seen A New Hope so I'm confident I can work backwards from there. But here's the crux, I was wrong. You see, recently I did a review of Twisters, not a bad film, where I repeatedly referred to Anthony Ramos as Lafayette from Hamilton. But he wasn't Lafayette, he was John Lawrence. I was wrong, and it was pointed out to me in the comments that I was wrong, and it hurt. So, in preparation for a video about Star Wars, not this one, a different one, I thought I'd best check I was right before committing. And that's when, watching A New Hope for the 362nd time, I noticed this cunt for the first time. The Death Star plans are not in the main computer. Motherfucker. You know, not counting C-3PO prattling on, that's the first line of dialogue. For fuck's sake. So there you have it. There's no real point to this video, it's more of a personal journey that I wanted to share. But there's another Star Wars video coming down the pipe, and I'm right about that one. I checked. Because you know what? It always hurts when your long-held fan theory falls apart.